What's up, guys? It is Sebastian or th one as you all know, and I just got done watching the EA press conference now, uh, at E3 2014, and... Are you fucking kidding me? Are... Are you kidding me, EA? Are you fucking kidding me? Allow me to... Explain what happened at the event. Uh, just look at my last video. This is how it's gonna go. I explained the game that they showed, then my reactions to it, and then a score. So here's how it's gonna work. They started up with Star Wars. To be specific, Star Wars Battlefront. Yes, Battlefront is returning. For those who like Battlefront, fuck yeah! Problem! We didn't see real gameplay, and they only gave us the date of 2015. Then, after that, they showed us Dragon Age Inquisition. The same fucking trailer. The same exact trailer. That's it, from the Microsoft one. Just with live orchestra music. Barely orchestra. There's like a few people on violin in the, in the, on stage. And they just explain there's more tactical things you can do with the game. Don't care. But then, the saving grace, Mass Effect, gets teased. Yep. Teams. That's it. Done. No, no more. Concept art. And then done. Move on. That's right. Just a tease. So then they show us Sims 4. And they're just talking about, oh, you have the, the most way to edit the Sims now. The most way to fuck around with their lives. You can control their hearts now. You can make a hot-headed, really moronic, but still loves to read jock. You can make a nature-loving, but mentally fucking obsessed grandma. Okay. Microtransactions the game. But my... F I'll talk to this after this, though. Because it happened twice. Um, then they went into sports, 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 sports. So let's uh, start with sports. Bruce Lee's in UFC, uh, UFC 15. Kind of cool. And then they showed a fight with him. And then Bruce Lee got knocked down. Of course, afterwards he knocked the guy out, but... Yeah, no, rigged. Of course it's rigged, but, you know, I'm just fucking joking. Uh, after that they showed NHL 15. It's NHL 2015. So then they decided to show us a new game by Criterion Games. No name. No gameplay. A bunch of just pre-alpha concepts. And the concepts are this. Anything and everything extreme in first person. That's it. No fucking anything. Just behind the scenes discussion of what they think the game will be like. With a little bit of pre-alpha. Barely textured shit. Period. Back to sports. Golf. Golf of PGA Tour 15. The only thing different here is fantasy courses. You can have a guy nonchalantly put a ball over a burning battleship. Because, you know, you need to do that while golfing. Right? After that, Madden, Madden, Madden. Madden 15. Little updates. I like to call it DLC expansion for $60, the game, like every other EA Sports game. There's never a, a new enough reason to put $60 down unless you're skipping a few years. Never. So after that, Dawngate, they showed a new MOBA that they started giving betas to conventions. And while those betas were going on, they were actually live developing the game to tweak it. Which is an interesting promise, but it's a MOBA. Do we need more? Do we really need more? The Ever s League was enough. Dota was enough. Do we now it's just a fucking flood. Do we really need more MOBAs? Then they showed us Mirror Edge 2. I'm sorry, Mirror's Edge 2. I'm, I'm sorry. No gameplay. Behind the scenes stuff only. A bit of pre-alpha, nothing more. Back to sports, FIFA 15. Pretty much just what it was. Go! No, 
no, fuck you, I'm done. I'm done. That's pretty much what FIFA 15 was. No, no, nothing of interest. After that, Battlefield Hardline. Everything we saw that was leaked a fucking week ago. Everything we knew a fucking week ago. The only thing we didn't know is they just opened a closed beta. And for those on the PS4, you want to go right now. If you have a Battlefield 4, go to your, boot up your PlayStation 4, highlight the Battlefield 4 tab, and you'll see in the live title, download the beta. It's closed beta for everyone else. Um, first come, first serve. It's going to close soon. I think it, I think it going, it's going to close tomorrow at midnight. That's, that's my fucking guess. Because you know that's how they like to do it for games. And then for PC users, you got to go to Battlefield.com and then sign up. That's it. That was their press conference. Nothing nothing we didn't expect. We knew Mass Effect was going to be teased, but we got... Li literally, the games that we wanted to see were all teased. For, we're giving pre-alpha to little to none footage. And behind-the-scenes footage. EA, I don't think you understand what E3 means. It's a place to show your games. A place to... do. Let them show themselves around. Incite people. Make them want to buy. Microsoft may be fucking stupid, but they still gave you games that look interesting and people would maybe want to buy. EA, the entire fucking thing, was pointless. Behind the scenes bullshit. And sports, 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 sports. Jesus fucking Christ, EA! You, I think they just did worse than fucking Microsoft. You get, you guys, my score for them. I, I'll keep that to the end. I'll, I'll keep that to the end. Okay. So, here's something I wanted to bring up: Sims Four and Battlefield. When both were announced, they were in the background, girls screaming. Especially during Sims 4. The problem with this is, it sounded retardedly fake. Like, <laughs> it actually died down and felt really fucking fake. Like they were paid off the screen. Same thing with Battlefield. I don't, I'm not discrediting any women that like first person shooters. Or Sims. I know one that, like, I have a best friend who loves The Sims, but she wouldn't fucking scream her head off, fakely. So, and by the way, you can tell when it's fake. You just have to watch the fucking press conference. Do it at your own leisure. I told you the game, Sims 4 and Battlefield. Just look at, look for those two. There you go. You can see how fake it was. Literally, there's nothing else to add here. My score for the conference is a 2. A 2 out of 10. Doesn't deserve any more time. Doesn't deserve any praise. Mirror's Edge 2 is nice and all, but that was announced before. Mass Effect 4's teaser was okay. That's where you get a point. But we did. Did we really need another Battlefield? One that was leaked. Did we need another MMO? I mean, not MMO. A MOBA. Bruce Lee and that UFC is cool and all, but it's UFC. I don't fucking care. Sports, 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 sports. Nothing in there interests me. Battlefield, Battlefront we knew was coming, but no fucking footage, you get a dock of a point, and the same fucking trailer from Microsoft for Dragon Age. No points there. Sorry, you lose. So, the current standing is EA in last, Microsoft ahead, but that's probably going to change later. Uh, no, coming up next is Ubisoft. Same story is going to go there, we're going to watch them, get my thoughts, and then we end the day with Sony. So, ending this off before the 10 minute mark, I'll see you guys in a f fucking hour or so. That was really bad, EA. You guys suck. Just, no. 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 Bye. I'll see you guys in an hour.